Americans work tirelessly on LGBTQ rights. And uh, over the years, I have had many, many conversations with Philip uh, when it comes to trying to understand and figure out how to take on and fight homophobia, other issues. And uh, Philip is uh, certainly not shy for anybody that knows him. His opinions are easy to understand. And at the executive board, he has uh, represented Region 1 very, very well, mm -hmm. but also undertaken to represent equity in his way, uh, which is very powerful, uh, very, uh, very guiding, and help the board and others to understand a host of issues. Philip also has a very difficult job. He works with some of the most uh, challenged youth in our province. He, uh, you know, he uh, worked his uh, job uh, lots of times in his region. He wouldn't be able to be somewhere because he would be in Thunder Bay working with a family, or he'd be in Timmins, or he'd be somewhere in the province. His skill set is very rare, very much in demand by his employer and the mm -hmm. youth of Ontario. And uh, he's truly a rather remarkable human being. Whether or not they can do the work, 
please look past the equity that you do see or you don't see. Take a long hard look at them and put them in these positions. That's where we need to be. You have no idea I had this man in my back closet in my truck. I know Dana has worn it, a few others have tried to worn it. Woo! Realistically, I don't think I would be in this chair today if I came to every meeting. I left my leather pants at home and a few other accessories. <laughs> I weren't in the pride parade. It was the best to this hat. We had our first gathering. Leah was present. She came to see what the heck we were up to in the Marriott Hotel. We declared we would take every seat at this board if we needed to. I want to remind you, when you look around the board, we've had Mary from PWC. We've had Lori, who's still there, from PYC. We've had Ken from PYC. There's a lot of people who are taking those seats from equity. Go ahead, take the rest of them, take mine. I declared that I wasn't going to stay, that I wanted someone new to come in. I only have three years till I retire, so get on, I'll help come into you. I want to thank Lori, Len, and Jen for taking that seat. One of you's got it. Um, it's greatly appreciated, but again, I want to say the executive board members, especially Ron, who mentored me to be able to do the LGBT stuff, when I wasn't really out at work yet, but I was able to go to Rainbow Alliance, um, and then to take on PHRC. I want to thank folks like Cindy Beans, who's somewhere in the room. Those mm -hmm. folks mentored me, and we got in the bullying and the personal harassment policy into this union. I want to remind you, in 1996, when I first came on, was the first union to have same-sex benefits in Canada. Mm -hmm. I want to remind you, this was the union, after the assault on me, that we declared we would change the definition of spouse and not ask for marriage. We didn't want marriage if I was gay. I wanted 178 laws in this province to change. This was the union that supported me to get that to Canadian Labour Congress and declare that 178 laws would change, not one. So I think we have a very strong union in equity. We may not always tout our stuff. As many members know, I have a big tattoo on my arm. It stands for the light shines, but you don't need to blow cannons to let you know who you are. But I think sometimes the union needs to talk a whole lot more about what we do do, because we don't always know what we did do, right? So I appreciate everybody that's got us to this point, but quite like that to keep it, because Doug Ford's going to destroy it if he gets a chance. I also want to mention Joshua, because he was up here talking to you folks, and I want you to take him very powerfully. Many years mm -hmm. ago, I met him, and he was holding this little banner that we give everybody at Opsu, you know, the one that says Opsu, I'm fighting for something, and he hit the bee. And I can ask Janice if I can tell the story, but I'm telling it anyways. <laughs> so he hits the bee, and the bee lands. So we get the bee all nice and safely, and put it on a flower over in the corner beside Monty McNaughton's office. Mm -hmm. When we went back to check on the bee, the bee was gone. So he was so ecstatic. And those are the kids and situations that give me the power to keep going. Because then, two or three years later, we see him up here giving a powerful, powerful speech. Those are the people we mentor that we don't even realize that we're mentoring and supporting along the way. And those are the kids and the adults that we have to take to Doug Ford to say, stop, we, we have a lot of stuff going on. Mm -hmm. So beyond equity seats, I want to remind us as a union that we do need mental health corrections in every sector of this union at this table. So as much as I'm going to push that we need equity, 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 we come in here with many hats, not just this one. But the reality is when we come in with many hats, we have to set them at the door. We're now on the executive board representing, I think it's now 159,000 members and hopefully soon a lot more. But I do say, you have to set your hat at the door when you come in there. You're representing every member in your region and every member in this province. We do it proudly, and thank you. Solidarity, let's go.